guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing an unboxing video for you guys and I'm really excited. I am new to the whole BoxyCharm and Ipsy thing and I'm actually going to be unboxing both of those subscriptions for the month of May in this video so I can kind of compare them and see which one I feel trumps the other. I used to like that word and now it just reminds me of Donald Trump. Okay, this is a beauty video, not a political one. Moving on. If for those of you that don't know, BoxyCharm is um, a monthly subscription um, and you receive full size beauty products in this, five of them I believe, and the subscription is only $21, which is awesome because the value of the products inside this box is much, much more. Ipsy, for those of you that don't know, is similar in that you pay for a monthly subscription and it's about $10, so a lot cheaper, but the products in here are usually only sample size. It's still super fun to be able to try out different products that way and I apologize in advance. I thought I had pressed record and I opened my BoxyCharm box and then I realized <laughs> that I wasn't recording and so I opened up two of the products, but I haven't swatched them yet, so you guys get to do that with me. So here we go. I'm going to do BoxyCharm first since I already opened it. And the first product that I grabbed was this Makeup Geek blush and I am so, so excited to try it out. When I saw this in there, I might have squealed a little bit. Look how pretty this case is. I love that. It's like a coppery case. It just looks really chic. I'm a fan. Look at this color. Oh, so pretty. I'm going to put a little on my hand. Ooh, I love that color. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. This is made with the finest ingredients. Makeup Geek blushes blend effortless, effortless, oh, effortlessly into the skin for a natural radiance. The finely milled powder guarantees a creamy, smooth consistency that glides onto the cheeks and blends with ease. And this is actually a $15 value right here. And then the next thing that I already opened is this Brow Gal um, Eyebrow Gel by um, Tanya Crooks. I hope I pronounced that right. This is hold the shape of your brow perfectly. The Brow Gal Eyebrow Gel works with pencils or powders to seal and protect your brows for anyone too cool to fuss or too busy to reapply. Go swimming at the beach or do hot yoga without the worry of your brows coming unhinged. And this is a $20 value. I'm excited to see what this is all about. Maybe I'll try a little bit. Nice. I feel like it goes on really nicely. Not clumpy. It does hold up really well. My hairs are cooperating very nicely. Next product is this Double Ego Dual Ended Eyeliner. Ooh. It says Pure's 2-in-1 Dual Ended Eyeliner is a multitasking must-have must tool. Use the mineral pencil tip for smudge-proof everyday definition or to create a sultry smoky eye. Use the liquid liner to create bold intensity and the perfect cat eye. And this is a $21 value. So here is the pencil side. Ooh, look at that color. It's very pigmented. Let's check out the other side. It's a little bit brighter. It's not the color I expected. I like that though. That would be really fun for like St. Patty's Day or even like, like a party look. The next one is this Ella Mila nail polish. Cruelty free and vegan. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Let's see what it says about it. This five free nail polish is vegan, quick drying, and chip resistant. All Ella and Mila polishes are created by PETA. And this is a $10.50 value. Ooh, it's kind of like a mint color. I like that. I don't have any mint nail polish, so I'm super excited to try it. Let's see what it looks like. I wish my nails weren't painted already or I would uh, swatch that for you guys. The next thing is this Charmed Ultra Long Wear Lip Pencil. Looks like a very pretty nude color would be my guess. It says Star Looks Long Lasting Full Coverage Lip Liner enhances the shape of your lips and gives them perfect contour and definition. This creamy moisturizing formula glides on softly to smooth lips and ensures lipstick stays in place while extending its wear. And this is a 1950 value see what that looks like. Ooh. I really like that color right there. I feel like that 
would go really well with a smoky eye. Yeah. I mean, it's really one of those lip colors you could wear with any eye look. And the last thing is this Catherine Melandrino Romance de Provence Deluxe Mini Sprayer Perfume here. And it says, discover the timeless allure of breathtaking Provence with this intimate floral bouquet. Catherine Melandrino Romance de Pro Provence opens with fruity nuances of pear and black currant. At the heart, jasmine, rose, and violet blossoms bloom on a gourmand base of a vanilla, patchouli, and tonka bean. Let's see. I probably pronounced something wrong there. Hmm. It's very light. I like that. Let's do the skin test. <laughs> it's a lot stronger than I expected once I sprayed it. You know, when I smell it from the bottle, it smells really light and florally, and then when I spray it on my skin, I smell a lot of the vanilla, which I'm not a huge vanilla fan when it comes to like perfumes and lotions and stuff, but I mean, if you are, you probably would like this. It's pretty intense though, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was a pretty good box. That's pretty awesome. I like almost everything. Maybe not the perfume, but everything else I really like. Ipsy time. Oh, there you go. This is a really cute bag. I like it. Alright, let's see what's in here. It comes with a little card, Destination Chic by Ipsy. Greetings from... Oh, it's a little postcard where you could do like Mad Libs on it. How fun is that? <laughs> oh, it comes with a Vera Mona brush. Got nice firm bristles. So I have no idea what the, how much these products are, any of that, but I will um, get that information for you guys and I will put it down in the description box below. It's Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in black. Nice little sample size here. Ooh, that glides on really smooth. I like that. Like really effortlessly. Really pigmented. It's nice. I'm excited to try that. I'm actually almost out of my favorite black liner, so this might replace it. We'll see. This is Chia Smoothing Oil Hair Treatment Oil for all hair types. Let's see what it does. Rich in vitamins, antioxidants, protein, and 18 amino acids, chia seeds have been known for centuries for their beneficial properties. Actually, this is good. I could always use something from my crazy mane. It's like a dropper, huh? huh. Mm, I like how that smells. That smells really good. It says, disperse a few drops to your palms and distribute evenly throughout damp or dry hair. Let's try a little bit of it. So a few drops. I really like the way it smells. It smells really good. Gosh, I don't know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of something, though. I just can't think of it. Next thing is this Jelly Pong Cosmetics Caribbean Sun Bronzer Duo. It says, a healthy fragrance-free bl blush and bronzer duo that gives you a radiant airbrush glow. The unique formulation using coated pigments helps skin mimic a whisper light sun-kissed Caribbean-inspired finish, as well as helps even out redness. Let's see, that's what it looks like. And there's the bronzer colors. Let's check that out blush color. I'll put it next to the Makeup Geek blush right there. And then there's the bronzer color. It is really light. That is nice. It's kind of a taupe color. It's really pretty. I'm excited to try that. And the last thing in the Ipsy bag is this Gel Effect Nail Lacquer. Ooh, it is a really fun pink. How fun would that be with the color I'm wearing now? They go together so nicely. Very springy. I'm a big fan. I love hot pink. I'm wearing a bright pink lipstick. Just like with the other one, I wish I didn't have my nails painted so I could try it. But it looks really nice though. Yay! I thought that was great. That's a good bag too. Ooh, that's kind of hard. I feel like they were both really good bags. I think the one that I like 
better would have to be this BoxyCharm. It came with so many really pretty pigmented colors, the blush, the eyeliner, the lip liner, and they're all things that I know that I would use, and they're all full-size products, so I'll be able to use them for a while. Now, Ipsy was also great. Like, it's really, it's a close second. I think that both bags were awesome this month. If you got BoxyCharm or Ipsy or both, comment below and let me know what your favorite was. I'm excited to hear what you guys think. Um, and I just wanted to let you guys know that next week we're going to be doing um, our top five favorites on our blog, which is rubyloxmakeup.com, and I will have that popped up somewhere here on the screen so you guys can see that link. If you're interested in being updated about upcoming videos, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for your support, guys. Love ya. Have an awesome day. See you next time. Bye.